What's going on? Let's talk about something that is necessary in every area of your life. When I was a kid, I used to climb trees. And one time, I climbed a tree. About four stories. Now that I think about it, it was a little nuts. Step by step, I got to the top of that tree. So I'm up there, and I made that fatal mistake. I looked down. And I got scared because I was just climbing and climbing and climbing. And when I looked down, I hugged the tree. I was freaking out, but there was no one around. I was up in that tree. It was getting colder. This was when Alabama had four distinct seasons and it looked like it was about to start raining. Going down that tree without it raining was hard. Imagine what it would be like once it started raining. The tree would be all slippery. So at that moment, I made a decision to get down that tree. But I made a promise to myself. I was not going to look down. So I was coming down the tree like this. My feet touched the ground and I, I stumped on the ground, right? And I was like, I was down. So I started walking home. And about five minutes after I was walking home, it started raining. And I was like, whoa, that could have been a mistake. As a child, we took extraordinary risk every day and didn't think twice about it because the following week, there was this tree that was in front of our house that was to the side of the truck, not the truck, but the church. And there was this steep drop off because you go over here, then it would go down, then there was a landing, then it would go down again. And there was this tree literally growing out of the side of the land. We used to have someone climb down on the landing and swing the branches because it was one of those trees that had these vines and they were like real thick. I mean, so thick that some parts of it, because we were kids, you couldn't get your hands all the way around them. That's how thick they were. And we swing them and we take a flying leap off of that hill and grab the branch in midair. How many of you ever watched Tarzan films? That's what we were doing. We were like Tarzan. We were doing the Tarzan yell, and we did that all day long. Now, when I look back at it, because the last time I went home, I went over there and I looked. That was pretty, like, that's deep. Risk is necessary. As children, we inherently know this, and we do things, and we push ourselves, and we push our perspectives. But as we become adults, we start to let people shape our perspectives and make us become very afraid. Afraid of people, afraid of experiences, afraid of doing things. To be successful, risk is inherently a necessary part of getting money, getting women, getting a life. You must risk something. The bigger the risk, usually the bigger the reward. And for some reason, this seems to be lost upon a lot of people who there was this meme, I'll, I'll insert it here. And it is funny because someone sent this to me because I had recently talked about how people want to be paid, how people want to be boss, how people want to have a certain lifestyle, but miss me with that work, miss me with that responsibility miss me with being responsible and helping other people achieve their goals to get to yours. No, no, it's, it's all about me. Risk is a abundance mindset type situation because when you take risk on, you take on so many things as a personal responsibility. But there are many people who do not want that personal responsibility do not want to have any level of risk. But this is the rub. You can't have the life you want without taking risk that you don't want. When I started this channel 2009, I didn't know what it was going to do. It was a risk. It was a low level risk, meaning that if it failed, I wasn't going to die. And a lot of bad things were not going to happen. But it was a risk and investment of time, effort and energy. Then I put my book out, that was a risk. Then I put out my courses, that was a risk. And I've said this before and I'll say it again. There are many products I put out that fell flat. No one bought them. 
I was like, okay, that is not going to work. And this is one of the reasons that I do bilateral things or sometimes I run two or three things. There's a school of thought that you should dedicate yourself to a single thing to be uber successful. And I've looked at businesses and I've studied businesses since high school and that's just essentially not true. Warren Buffett has so many companies you have to go to the Wikipedia page to look at them. Bill Gates, um, recent multi-billionaire, Jeff Bezos, AWS, Amazon Merchant, Amazon FBA. Uh, there's so many things, Blue Wave, Blue Ocean, whatever you had. That's a lot of different businesses. So this whole notion of just focusing on one business to be uber rich, I think it's misguided. There are some people who can only handle one thing and there are some people who want uber success because when I had my other channel, Disruptive Mail, I didn't stop this channel, I almost did, which would have been a risk. And I was like, you know what? Let's just run both. Let's run both. This is how, what you do. So typically when I'm doing one thing, I'm also doing two or three other things to mitigate my risk. This is the thing. You're not gonna be as successful as you could be without large levels of risk. That's just what it is. Like the big risk, getting married. There, and I'm gonna do a special video on how to get married. You hear it all over the internet. You get married, she's gonna rape you, she's gonna take your kids. And this isn't really far off, but who is this happening to? I want you to go to the Google machine, which is Google, and look up Joe, the Morning Joe Show. This guy got divorced. He had to pay child support and alimony, which represents 1 20th of what he makes in a year. And he has certain clauses put in this divorce thing. No overnight male guest. No, she got married again. They could not stay in his house. He had all this stuff contractually obligated in his uh, divorce decree. And you don't hear any of this stuff. You can get married. And if it goes bad, you can win. I know. Crazy, right? My situation. I had it. You know, you can research it if you want to. But I defeated my case. I'm a free man. So we have on one side this large chorus of people who do not want to take any risk. And then on the other side, we have this small contingency of people who have taken risk and have learned a lot. When you take risk, you learn so much that you can apply to the next endeavor or this endeavor, or at some point you'll accumulate a large collection of data points that you can become very good at predicting things because you can see pattern recognition. You're like, oh, this is going to happen. Oh, this is going to happen. Oh, this is going to happen because of risk. So I'll leave you with this. Risk is a necessary part of success. And risk is inherent in a rich and rewarding life. You know, Yes, 50% of marriages end in divorce. What about the 50% that don't get divorced? Something to think about, something to think about. Where I'm going, and what I want you to understand is, you must up your risk level and your risk tolerance to get the success that you want. That's it. So below, I have a email list, brand new email list for folks who want part of the new deal. We'll be launching that in a few days. So if you want early access and the best pricing, that's the list you get on. It's the five uh, checking account blueprint. That's will lead you to the website and put you on the email list. So with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.